Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on April 18th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, world weather, earthquakes and volcanoes. Looking at the last 48 hours on our star, very active as I have been posting here with Daily Events, multiple solar flares. We had a couple M-class solar flares overnight and we're still seeing minor B-class, C-class range. And this massive sunspot incoming right now almost makes the sun look like the Death Star from Star Wars. I've never seen anything like it. In fact, I've never seen our sun so active. This is the last 48 hours incoming. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, as on the back side of the sun, we did have quite a solar flare or CME definitely projected and looking at pretty fiery departing sunspot region on the right there. Another close look at our sun, as I said, which eerily replicates the Death Star with this massive hole in our sun. This is the region that produced the X-class solar flares, M-class, and as well C-class. Very active sun right now, as well looking at that Earth-facing sunspot there, just starting to pop off. So we've got a very active week ahead of us. Stay aware and prepared. Stay tuned to daily events worldwide. And I want to thank you all because we are now at 50,000 follows. Thank you so much. So much gratitude from y'all. Looking at multi-spectrum multi here, looking at antipode opposite events here, northwest and southeast region, as well, coronal holes developing along the equator, but nothing too major for coronal holes except for that hole in front of the hole in the sun. Looking at solar X-ray flux, as you can see, very, very many spikes today. C-class and two M, three M-class solar flares. Geomagnetic activity remains slightly elevated. Looking at LASCO two, or sorry, LASCO three, and this shows all of the energy projected from our sun from the last twenty hours of data. This is all they have for us. So very active sun indeed. Having a look here at the Iswa space prediction spiral. That large dark red and pink line showing all of the energy heading our way. As we are at the end of the event from the last X-class solar flare, C-class solar flares. It's been a very active week. And there is that backside flare. A real-time solar wind sitting just over 550 kilometers per second after being upwards of 650 kilometers per second. We were at a KP6 yesterday. Also noting here the density bunches, which are now starting to really rise up and come in. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 29. Slightly elevated from two days ago when we were at 24. This is the energy, the hum of our planet. So an amplitude of 29, quality of 10.8, power of 17. Now let's get a rundown for earthquakes and we're gonna start out here in the Banda Sea as we've had a very active day across Indonesia and up into Philippines. Our deepest earthquakes to report today, the last 24 hours are in Indonesia, 4.5, And as well, 4.3s, Timor Lest, 545 kilometer depth. As well, the Bajo, Indonesia, 525 kilometer depth. So we can expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow for sure. Tobilo, Indonesia, 5.1, 4.6 there. Serengeti, Philippines, as well, Northern Philippines, Cabra, 4.7, and a 4.8 reported. As well, pretty rare earthquake here, Kontum. Vietnam, 4.8 earthquake, 10 kilometer depth. And our largest to report today was Hung Shun, 5.3 in Taiwan, followed by a 4.6. 4.3s 
4.9 here reported. Izu Islands, Japan region, 10 kilometer depth. Pretty quiet through Tonga and Solomon Islands, only reporting a 5.0 here and a 4.6. Isangal, Vanuatu, 106 kilometer depth. So please stay aware, prepared, stay ready because we are expecting a larger shallow earthquake to follow, especially when our planet is being penetrated by all this space weather right now. Hawaii, pretty quiet, only reporting a 2.9 through the region. Kilauea Summit has not changed much over the last couple days, but definitely expecting an uptick there. Alaska, starting to quiet down, but watch for that to increase with the large low in incoming across the United States. The geysers, where a third of all of the earthquakes across the USGS map are occurring, Largest today was a 3.0 there, a 3.5 and a 3.0 here in Delta BC Max, Mexico. 4.5 and a 4.4 here in Cayaco, Mexico, and Veluz. Pretty quiet through the Caribbean plate today, only four earthquakes to report, largest being a 3.4 Puerto Rico. And very quiet through South America, only reporting a 4.4 here. Calama, Chile, you got to be expecting something is building up. As well, the North Pole seeing some action. Norwegian Sea, 4.3, 10 kilometer depth. As well, through Greece, 4.2. Gavlo, Greece, 10 kilometer depth. As well, a 4.0 there, just south in the Mediterranean. No earthquakes to report, African plate, nor Indian plate. We're expecting a big one, folks. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily due. And I will be keeping you updated on all of the earthquakes from around the world. Quick look here at the last seven days across the planet. As we're seeing all of these deep earthquakes surround the West Pacific plate. Deep activity heading through the Indian plate. Quiet across the African plate and as well up into Europe. We can always expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow after deep earthquakes like what we reported today. 545 kilometer depth. And it would not surprise me if we saw a couple more deep ones before the night is through. Always feel free to come into the live stream and check it out. Live earthquakes, weather, and space weather. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and volcanoes getting reported. Manam, Papua New Guinea, Nevadas de Ruz, Colombia, Fuego, in Guatemala, Senge in Ecuador, Sabinkaya in Peru, Karamiski, Russia, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Tokono, Indonesia, Swiss and Ajima, Japan. Lots of alerts on this site right now. Feel free to download it yourself and stay aware and prepared. Popo in Mexico. And that's all. We've got about 11 volcanoes getting updated today. We've got some winter storm conditions moving into northeast United States and Ontario, grounding a lot of flights, as well as storms through Brazil, droughts and fires through western United States, Arizona, wildfire reported there, no tropical cyclones to talk about, flooding conditions and storm conditions through Victoria, Australia, as well as northern New Zealand, India as well, stormy conditions through Sri Lanka and southern India. Now let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and daily events worldwide. Starting out here in Ontario, Canada, home base. As we've got that big storm is going to be slowly grinding up the east coast. Looks like by Tuesday, Wednesday, Atlantic provinces, you will see rain. And Quebec will see mostly snow. But watch for extreme weather to run across Newfoundland. As well, we've got an Alberta clipper here forming. That is Wednesday into Thursday. And that's going to slowly move eastward. 
and then southeastward, bringing up a lot of humid air, moist air. So watch for extreme weather to break out across eastern United States. As well, we've got this pretty big low off the coast of Oregon and California right now. It's been raining for 24 hours straight, and it's not going to stop as this low is going to break off into three lows. One, two, three, if not four, low pressure systems, surface lows. So that's going to be an atmospheric river event as well. Look at the size of this low pressure system heading into Alaska. This is the one I was talking about. Expect an uptick in seismicity through the region. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains heavy through parts of northern Peru and Colombia. Other than that, no major systems affecting the continent. Except for later in the week, you could see some extreme weather through Chile, Argentina. Overlooking Africa, lots of rain in South Africa and as well central regions. Mozambique, Zambia, flood warnings. Madagascar, seeing a lot of rain this week. Overlooking Europe. Got a low-pressure system grinding through the Mediterranean this week. It's going to bring some gray days and rain to parts of Italy and northeastward. And then watch next week, early next week, we could see another large system heading into Spain. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Russia, and India. No major weather systems affecting you. Got some lingering showers through parts of southern India and Sri Lanka. No typhoons as of yet, but in the long-range forecast, we do have something forming here. Pretty large system. Could be a typhoon in the long range. Most likely will be, but it will be heading northwestward towards China. As well, we've got another system here south of Indonesia. Not quite sure where that one's going to go just yet. Overlooking Australia, watch for stormy conditions through Victoria, southeastern parts, and then watch for that to switch to the north. And then a sneaky low pressure system heading into central Australia. And that doesn't happen often, but there's a pretty big low coming through. It's going to bring a lot of moisture this week. And most likely extreme weather as well. New Zealand. Got a high pressure ridge building in, scattered showers up until Friday, and then clearing out. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching and subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily doodle. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.